Good morning! Welcome back to my channel. I am in Lisbon now. Um, these are the streets of Lisbon. It's a gorgeous sunny day. It is a Sunday, which means it's obviously day trip time. So today I'm gonna hop on a train and I'm heading west towards the coast, towards Sintra, which is quite a famous place. There's lots of castles to explore. Um, it's actually a protected park area as well. So I'm really looking forward to getting out there. Um, it's a little colder now. We're into November, so it's like 16 degrees instead of like 25 degrees, but it's sunny. It's beautiful, um, and Lisbon's been wonderful so far. I Today's Sunday, I flew in on Friday. So yesterday, I just walked all around the city all day and explored my new neighborhood. Um, and today, I'm excited to head out. So you're gonna come along with me, as you always do. So time for another adventure. <laughs> So I've arrived in Sintra and it's so cute, like it's so beautiful and there's loads of palaces and castles here, there's like five different palaces in one city and all the houses are like really pastel -y and beautiful. So walking up to Castelo de Moros actually involves a hike. If anybody watched my Braga video with all those stairs. This is very similar. Lots of stairs. So I am standing on top of the Moorish castle, which is beautiful. It's all in ruins, um, but you can walk all the walls and get this amazing view. So up there is the Moorish castle, and I think you can see that's Pena, Pena Castle, and that's like the most famous one. We're going there next. So as you saw, the views from the Moorish castle were amazing. That was like a panoramic view of all of Sintra, the castles in the area, incredible. So now I'm heading to palace, the National Palace of Pina or Pena, I'm not sure, which is the most famous one. Like when you Google Sintra, this is what you're gonna see. So apparently you just hike through a forest <laughs> to get there. So we're heading on another little hike. It's gonna be great. So overall, it's very, very beautiful, but it's super busy and I'm very overwhelmed. So, um, not having a fantastic time because I'm mostly just stressed out with all the people. So I've left the palace. It was really busy. Didn't get lots of good pictures. It was just crowded. So I'm heading up to what's called the High Cross. And um, it's about a 700 meter walk from the palace through this beautiful forest. Um, apparently there's a good view there, so hopefully it's a bit quieter as well. <laughs> Just reading the sign as I'm approaching the final climb to the summit, King Joao III commissioned this cross in 1522 and it stands at the highest part of the Sintra Mountains.
This is the High Cross. I'm at the highest point in the Sintra Mountains. Over here, you can see in the distance, the National Palace of Penna. And I'm on top of the world! <laughs> also, yesterday in Lisbon, I had a, like, a bunch of places, like vegan places that I wanted to try, but I didn't realize that the one I went to yesterday, it's called Scoop and Dough. Um, it's right in the middle of Lisbon. I didn't realize they are the number one vegan donuts in the whole world. So, according to Happy Cow, which is like pretty reliable. So, um, when I realized that, I bought not just one because then I wouldn't have really understood what it means to eat the world's greatest vegan donuts, so I had to buy four. <laughs> I'll put a picture here of what they look like because, oh my god! Um, so anyway, I brought the remnants of one of them. This is the um, sticky orange and date pudding, which is like, oh my god. Yeah, I can see why they're number one. Um, so I just, I'm gonna eat the rest of my vegan donut on top of the mountain next to a cross. <laughs> Can confirm. Delicious. Mmm. <laughs> on the bus but that was really neat I'm gonna put a picture in actually I got a really good photo of me I'll put it right here <laughs> so in an extremely frustrating turn of events the bus driver did not stop at the Boca do Inferno he stopped at the train station which is an extra 20 minutes walking and I'm now probably rushing for sunset 